Next step, mount your light any way you want. I like my light sitting right underneath here, so I'm shining on my fiber optics. I don't have to use my alternate light, pin light, that I have on here. When I turn my hog light on at night, it's going to shine across my fiber optics and light up anyone already for it. So, well, I've decided I've come in here, take my arrow rest holder off, or not arrow rest, but my quiver holder off. What I'm going to do, put the bow aside for right this moment. What I've done is come in here and figure how wide the back of your arrow rest. Just mark it out on your lid. And basically, you're just going to cut that lid. Granite cutting surface. I'm not worried about it. It's my desk. This all came from scrap. My brother built it. Nice desk. Pop that out of there until you get something that looks something like this. Maybe a little bit longer. I've already got my main. So, you want this to be able to fit around your flashlight. And this one's going to come up a little bit short. You want it to come up high enough to meet both of these screws. So, you see, it's got to be pretty long. Okay. And then you'll wrap this in your camouflage tape. Just go right up the length of it. Whatever. Fold it over. Wrap that whole thing in camo tape. I've already done that with this one. Now to get the bend, I marked where my light had to go. I made some marks on my plastic. And then I took my pliers, bent it over backwards, took my pliers, and then just started, you know, working it. Pinch it until you get the bend you want, until it comes together good. Make yourself screw holes to match up with your mount. And then it's all downhill from there. I'm going to take my flashlight up. And then I'm going to get ready to go on the bow. I'm going to make sure you get a proper fit. I already pre-screwed my plastic and my light onto my mount. My screws are sticking through. Make sure that where you have it, that you have enough space here so you can wedge your flashlight down a little bit while it's still in the mount if you have to change batteries. Also, if you go deer hunting, you're going to have to take that light off because it's illegal to hunt deer in mo every state that I know of, and probably most at least. I know where I'm at. I cannot hunt deer with this light on my bow. So if I'm going hog hunting at night, deer hunting in the morning, the light has to come off. I can just take my cap off, dump the batteries out. I should be safe. So what I'm doing here is I am checking my wiring for length to put this where I need it. And mine, of course, is already predetermined because I've had it on here already. So I'm doubling my wire back right here. I'm going to bend this around and I want this mounted so when I draw my bow, my thumb will come up under and click my light on. And then that light's going to shine right across my fiber optics. Okay, so I want to wrap this piece in plastic or with uh, camo tape. Just to cover that extra bit of wire up, get it out of my way. A lot of tape. Buy a roll or two. Because you're going to need more. You're going to need to build a, a light shield as well. So that when you draw, it doesn't keep you from seeing your target. You don't want this to get in your way. You want it to enhance your hunting. Alright, and then screw this all back on. And everything's going to have to get tied down. So I just kind of stuck my tape through. And I stuck it to the back of my finger to pull it around. And this way I can run some tape over here. And what I'll do, and some of you may not approve of this, but what I will do later on, I will go in here with some super glue. And I will put a couple spots of super glue on my tape in certain places. This piece, see how it's stuck? That's actually got super glue along the front of the bow. Doesn't hurt anything though because on my other side, it helps to pad my arrow rest. I don't get any clinking arrows. And uh, the super glue helps to keep all this from peeling apart all the time. So I'll tape that all back down right there. All I did was I, I stuck the tape to the edge of my desk and just hit it with a razor blade. This one's going to go all the way around the back side. Not always easy. Just stick your fingers where you can get them through. 
but it's well worth it. This will really, really improve your night hunting, I promise you. And this is going to save you about $100 if you plan on buying a light. I've looked them up on the internet, decided to build my own, and this is what I come up with. Okay, so my tape's in place. Like I said, I'm going to super glue these spots later on. On this side, you see all this? I run tape and more of our lid and made kind of a, a, a light shield. I don't want any light leaking from this part of my flashlight over here when I'm looking down through my sights. So this is all glued off. And yeah, it's all little spots of super glue to help it stick and stiffen. And then I'll just tape this edge down to my flashlight. And then when I hold my bow, I just hit my hit my switch and my light comes on. You see my thumb barely moving there. It doesn't take much to throw that little action into your your aim and you're all set. And you can draw, aim at your animal and then turn your light on afterwards. So that's all there is to it, guys. Appreciate you watching. Done deal. Hey guys, I've added tape all the way around and up around this uh, piece. So I'm just going to take, because i got loads and loads of tape on here, so it won't stick in much. I'm just going to take some super glue and just stick it on my tape and let it soak in. And it'll saturate right in there. And it'll help that tape from coming off. Because some, sometimes you get this tape and it never wants to come off. Other times it comes right off immediately. So, And I know I can peel all this off later on. There's some down here. I just don't like little tag ends floating around. So that'll saturate in there and soak that. Stiffen it all up real well. We'll go to this side where I had wrapped my wires down. And this is you're going to tie all that tape together. I can never use super glue without getting it on me. Ask my mom. I stuck my hands completely together when I was a kid. Can you remember how the hand was stuck just like this, guys? I basically ended up using razor blades to cut it apart, cutting the skin. That was no fun. So I just stick all that glue on there. I don't want it on the bow. But it will soak in all these spots and stiffen that tape up. So it doesn't drip onto my desk. And that's it. Hook her up and go to work. Go hunting. Thanks for watching. Red lens your light somehow. If you're sitting up in a tree, use some uh, tail light tape for a car. And just make you a little piece of red tape to go over that. And it'll help keep help the hogs, spooking the hogs with that white light. Use red light. One last thing, guys. My light bulb has a tendency to pop out every second or third shot because of the impact of that string coming down. So if you don't have a light that's good for impact, which is what I've done, so I just go in here, and once again, I just put a small dot of super glue where that bulb meets the house, and, and you can use a ra razor blade later on when that uh, bulb blows. If you have to take it out and just break that little spot, pull your bulb out, change it. So that'll keep you from making one shot, going to take another, no power. That's why your bulb popped out. There you go, guys. See how well it works. Because I got a white light so the camera can see better. And here, you can see how it lights my pins up for me. But it's not allowing any light through this side of the bow. See, that's this side, the side that the light's on. There's the side of the bow. You see how well my pins are lit up for me. See that? Works good. Just what you need. Good luck hunting.